he has a team, but he took the million dollars well for himself. This doesn't seem to be just a gem. This seems to be an artifact. I don't see any value for the kid. Three million searches, but nobody knows about it. Was Ohio Distinctive Software really trying to bring value, or were they trying to make money? If you multiply that by 1.8, you have a million dollars. Is the company dead or not? That's not obvious. And if ODS did that, I feel like that they would be in a better place. This is something that only we know. Like, is, does anybody out there actually remember these games? It's funny because most of their online store is stuff that isn't ODS. But like, if I ask somebody, do you know what Ohio Distinctive Software is, they're gonna say no, like 100% of the time. It's interesting, slightly creepy, but original 3D graphics. And a bunch of CD-ROM games have died. ODS is like Atari, Humongous Edutainment is like Nintendo. I think regarding the media that's intended for kids to learn, there's been a lack. A lack, yeah, no, for sure. They could mean that. But then also, it's like, that could also be a good cover-up. A little suspicious. I'm not sure why it's like that. But there was a complaint there. Somebody that had something bad to say about the company. These two are not the same. Only I have evidence that they did. comes a point in time where you really have to question why and I'm questioning why